25 years from now, you're going to want to say, I was there when Ken Griffey Jr. made his home debut. So don't forget that on Monday night. There's a drive into the gap in left center field and deep left center field, and Henderson's not going to get to it. It's off the base of the wall, and Griffey to second base in his first major league at bat, a ringing double off the 375 marker, and we have seen that all spring. Welcome to the show, Ken Griffey Jr. Yasiel Puig pinch hitting, and he will hit a ground ball towards short. Russell goes to Baez, one. Over to first. The Cubs are going to the World Series. The Cubs win the pennant. Here's the 0-1. This is going to be a tough play. Bryant, the Cubs win the World Series. Bryant makes the play. It's over. And the Cubs have finally won it all. 8-7 and 10. Dansby Swanson cracks one to center field. That ball's well hit. Turner going back. Flushing Queens baseball from the home of the Mets, City Field. Tonight, the opener of a three game series between the Philadelphia Phillies and the New York Mets. Two of the game's best bats slug it out back in just a moment. Noah Syndergaard. A right-hander from the state of Texas is the man on the mound here. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, you don't see a lot of guys that have five pitches, right? Sometimes it's hard to master even two or three. But if you can master five like he has, he'll be in pretty good shape. Digging in the switch hitter, Cesar Hernandez. Back on Wednesday, it was a one-for-five performance for him. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats out of play. It's one and two. Ready on one and two. Rip down the line. And a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it, and the leadoff man's aboard. Well, third baseman did everything he could on that ball. That ball was just scorched right past him. Laid out, got dirty. Third I baseman, thought for a second he was going to have it. It just couldn't Michael come up with it. Franco. Now batting, Michael Franco. And as you can tell easily from the splits, he's really struggled away from their home ballpark. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Hit outside the throw. Tag from Walker's there, and he's out at second base. Well, so much for that first hit of the game. Tried to press their luck and move him up to second for the steal, but. It didn't work out. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to two and two now. Well, he fouls off that fastball right there, and you wonder, does he love his fastball enough to come back with it three times in a row? One out, nobody on. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Time now for a glance at the Phillies batting order in this one. Who's the one to watch, Dan? Well, Matty, how about Tommy Joseph? He had over 20 runs batted in last month. Very consistent. A solid month, and I love watching him swing the bat. It looks like the focus and concentration is even better when he has runners in scoring position. Here's the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. He homered back in Wednesday's game. Ready now with the payoff pitch. Fastball swung on and grounded out towards second. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. One hits all they get. Now the Mets will step up for their first shot in a scoreless ball game. Vince Velasquez, the California-born right-hander, is on the mound. HR, what's the word on him? Well, Matt, he's had good success against left-handed hitters, hitting under 250 against him. When you're having that kind of success against the left-handers, you're going to be in a lot of games. 
Coming to the plate now, Jose Reyes. And he really thrives in the batter's box here at home. Something to keep an eye on in this one. Now Reyes awaits the 1-1. One -one. There's a changeup over the outside corner. One and two. To two balls and two strikes now. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. And this is heading out toward left field, but this is going to get fouled up into the crowd. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. Sent on the ground out to second. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. Time now to take a look at Terry Collins' Mets starting lineup in this one. Who are you focused on, Dan Pleasak? Well, you better look out for Lucas Duda. You know, he's driving in a lot of runs. With runners in scoring position, he's hitting over 350. That tells me he thrives in those moments. He enjoys it. We'll see if he gets an opportunity to perform with runners on base in this one. Now at the plate, as Drupal Cabrera. And you can see his home road splits there. He has not fared very well in front of the home crowd, oddly enough. The windup and the 0 2 pitch. And a changeup that just about got away from him there as that ran in a bit too far. This is pulled into right. And he will make the play. Two away now. Adding third. Now in the Left box, Joanna Cespedes. Is not among the league Adam leaders Adam. in home runs, but his total does top this ball club. Bases are empty here with two men out. Looks at a curveball over the inside corner. That pitch right there just locked him up. A curveball that doesn't break. A little front door curveball. You're looking for it to go back out over the plate, and it doesn't. It just locks you up as a hitter. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Mets. Still no score. In now, Tommy Joseph. He enters this one second in the National League round trip category. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Mets. And in the outfield, Joanna Cespedes. This guy's got maybe the best arm in all of baseball. It seems like every time there's a big moment or a big play, he comes up gunning and he's gunning guys to play. He is so fun to watch throw. Here's Michael Saunders now. He was one for four back in Wednesday's contest. And a fastball just a bit up. HR, these Mets as they enter play here tonight. They suffered a bit of a setback last time out, but not to worry. They're still 6-2 and two over their previous eight ball games. Well, Matt, I mean, the simple way to put it, they lost their last game. This is where baseball comes the best to me, where all the cliches come in. you got to have a short-term memory, and you really do. The game's over. You can't do anything about it. you got to come back today and play better and win. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Michael Saunders goes down for out number two in the top half. Now at the plate, Howie Kendrick. And he enters play today, currently fifth in the National League batting race. Looking to set down the side on strikes. Here it comes. Hard hit ball to second. Fielded cleanly by Walker. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. So they go down without a whimper here. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. And we are tied nothing nothing. Here's the center fielder, Curtis Granderson. We show you what he did in May versus what he's done so far at the plate in June. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Neil Walker waits on deck. 
Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Saunders going back on it. Gone to lead off the inning. A solo home run for Curtis Granderson. 19th home run for him on the season. And the Mets are on the board first, one to nothing. He didn't have to supply a whole lot of power with that one. He catches the fastball, and all he had to do is just really make a nice swing, which he did right there. And that ball just did not stop carrying. Standing in now, Neil Walker. Hey. One and two now. And set up behind the plate is Joe McDonald, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew in this one. Well, McDonald's strike zone is pretty ordinary, pretty basic. Now, sometimes it's tough to figure out, and that's when you get frustrated with it. There's not a whole lot of flash, but you just want to be consistent, pick one side or the other. That's where guys get frustrated. He's got him on the ropes at 2-2, two and two, but I don't think he'll try to get him out with another curveball. He's seen it already a couple of times, so it's not going to surprise him anymore. Base is empty here with nobody out. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Breaking ball swung on in the dirt. Ruff recovers and he makes the throw to first. Walker is retired and there's one away. All right, here's how the right Phillies line up defensively brought to you by Majestic. And I'm looking at third base at Michael Franco. Talk about making plays. He'd come in, make the bare hand. He dives to his left and right and a tremendous arm to complete the play. This kid's special. Ready now, Michael Conforto. The average for him entering play, not far north of 200. Come on, Michael. Ready with the 1-1 one -one pitch. Tries oh, to change guy. up on him there, but it's a ball, 2-1. and one. These Phillies, Harold, as they enter play here tonight, they're on a nice little run, winners of four of their last five ball games. Well, Matt, I really like their pitching staff, but I think the key to this game is clearly falls on their shoulders. They throw off-speed pitches for strikes, and they mix the pitch as well. I think if they do that, they got a chance to win. Called a strike, and it's full three and two. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. That is the only way you're going to hit that ball. The ball's fading away from you. He stayed with it and drove it to the opposite field. He tried to pull it. He would have rolled over. Here's Lucas Duda now. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. We're in the second, 1-0 Mets early on. And he lays off for a ball, 2-1. and one. Boy, that's a great breaking ball right there. That's a tough pitch to lay off when that ball is coming in at that plane right there. Quality take. Here's the 2-1. Breaking ball taken right down the middle. Pretty good pitch to hit there that he let go. I know it's early and probably wanting to run his pitch count up, but he may not get another pitch like that to swing at the rest of the game. Working for the punch out and the offering. Grounded to the right, and that's through for a hit. And he'll reach second now with one away. So problems out there in right field is this is going to wind up going as an E9. So stepping in, Travis Darno. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. A 
one and one count. Here's the pitch. Chopped weakly to the left. And indeed, he'll take only the out at first as the run comes in to score. Into the box, Noah, Noah Syndergaard. Syndergaard. And a chance now to increase his lead if he can deliver something here with two gone. And that's on the outside corner, one and two. Well, I think he's got to find a way out of this jam and limit the damage. If he's unable to do that, this game could get away from him. Hit on the ground to short. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Stepping into the box, Andres Blanco. 7-8-9, bottom of the order set to go here in the third. Fly ball out toward left center field. There to take it is Cespedes, is one away. So one gone now as we give you a look at where these two teams find themselves entering play in the National League's Eastern Division race. Stepping in, Cameron Rupp. And there you see his righty-lefty splits and how they've played out so far this season. Ready on one and two. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. And this is fouled at the plate. Another 2-2 two -two offering. Shin high fastball that time, ball three. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. The 3 2 one more time. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Into the box now, Vince Velasquez. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. And the pitch. Ball two. Two and two. Here's the pitch on two and two. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Phillies down in order. They're still down. It's 2 nothing. Ready for another chance. Jose Reyes. 0 for 1 here in the early going. 1 and 1. Here it comes. A changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. Line toward the alley in left center. And this inning starts with a solid base hit. Well, here they go again. A single start the third inning. Now they've already got a few runs on the board. This is exactly what they wanted to do. Stay aggressive, keep attacking. And here they are at the leadoff guy in the third. Here now is his dribble Cabrera runner at first to start the inning and Dan when it comes to pitching in the rain what changes I think the most difficult part Matt is the ball gets slippery it's hard to keep your hands dry and if you don't have a good feel on that grip it's hard to control where you're going to throw the ball and this one gets away. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. 
And he lays off it to even the count two and two. He's ready with the 2 2 pitch. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Kendrick ranging back. He makes the catch and the runner from second will tag and hit for third. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. The left fielder number 52. Here's your one to Cespedes. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. One out and a runner on third. Fouled back. Come on, get your pick. Ready now with the payoff pitch. And that'll miss for ball four as this one gets away. I'm sure the manager is fine with that. He tried to entice him with that 3 2 pitch, but he didn't take the bait. First base was open, though, so he just needs to make a good pitch for a ground ball. Here it comes on one and one. And the third baseman will have a look at it, but this is back into the seats. He got him. And it'll probably take a base hit now to get that runner across from third. Up next for the Mets. Second baseman. Riding in once Neil. again, Neil Walker. Walker. Two on, two out for him here in the third. <laughs> Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. That's in there on the outer half. One and two now. Runners at the corners, two men out. Line to the right side. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. Notch one in the score column as the runner from third crosses the plate. Well, he really picked his teammate up right there with two oh, outs and a and a strikeout right. to get the base hit and drive a run in. Michael. That is really a special Marco. feeling, but man, he really lifted his team up with that. Into the box, Michael Conforto called strike two. Well, he snapped that breaking ball off really nice. He'll do well to keep putting it there. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Full count with two outs now, so if he could put the ball in the gap somewhere, he could have a good shot of driving in a run because the run at first will be in motion. He's set. Here's the three and two. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Saunders going back. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. So it's a three run shot to straight away right field. Sixth home run on the season for him. As they pile on, it's now six to nothing. Well, he won his last start, but he didn't give up any long balls. He's already given up two here, so he's got his work cut out for him if he's going to get the W in this one. He's going to have to start keeping the ball in the yard for starters. In now, Lucas Duda. And this one's going to bounce up to the plate. An easy take there, and it's 3-1 and one now. Here it comes. Now a ball lying toward the alley in left center. Kendrick is there and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. But four runs score in the inning. Three coming right here on the three run home run. Three complete from City Field. And this is now a six nothing ball game. Digging in to try it again. Cesar Hernandez. 
He starts the inning and Dan they're down six in the early going. So what do they need to do to claw back into this thing. Well first of all Matt I think they need to start to get some base runners. It's hard to be patient when you're down by six. But base runners are the key to getting back into this one. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Cespedes is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. Third baseman number seven. Michael Stepping in and ready Franco. for another shot. Michael Franco. He's 0 for 1 thus far. No runs, just one hit and one error in the ballgame for the Phillies so far. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. He threw that ball right by him. When you got a guy throwing that hard, you got to really just think about using your hands and just spread out and let your hands fly. They're going to be quicker than your bat is going to get to the ball. And this one will be foul back in among the fans. That's a nice pitch right there. He threw him a breaking ball, comes back with the fastball, and now he's late. Now he doesn't know how to adjust. He's kind of caught in between. He got him set up perfectly. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. That's his second strike out of the game. I would be surprised if a coach finds him in the dugout and gives him a little talk about shortening up and putting the ball in play. Good things tend to happen when you do that in these kinds of conditions. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. Oh, I think his eyes lit up when he saw that pitch coming up at his eye level. Oh, you think? A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They won't make a dent in a six to nothing deficit. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Now some action in the Phillies bullpen as a right hander begins to crank it up out there. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Curveball that time, not even close. Into the windup, here's the 2 and 1 pitch. Tough slider down low for a strike. On the ground to the left side. And a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. Here comes the Philly skipper on his way out toward the mound. And a change is forthcoming as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening. So a less than stellar performance here tonight as he makes the early exit and forces that bullpen into action much earlier than anticipated. Michael Marriott answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for Michael from the starter. Marriott. Noah Syndergaard will be the first to stand in against the new pitcher as he'll do so with the runner at first and nobody out. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And they indeed have the pitcher bunting here as he gets this one down. Flip to the second baseman covering now for the out. Third baseman, number seven. Ready once again, Jose Reyes. One for two on his line so far in the game. Here's the 1 and 1 delivery. Leaves a slider up high, but it's taken for a strike. Oh, he got a good pitch to hit right there. Now, I know it was a slider. Not a lot of people like to hit sliders, but it was in a good hitting location. He just looked like he was full a little bit and got caught looking. And that misses two and two. Six runs, seven hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. And he chased it in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Reyes is retired, two down now. Shortstop, here now is his Drupal Cabrera. Drubal. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. The 1 1 home to Cabrera. Hit out towards second. Hernandez is right there. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Fair to say? Oh, my goodness. Uh, these folks are not headed for a career on Broadway. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. 
And that'll bring in Tommy Joseph. He'll start things out against Noah Syndergaard as this inning is underway. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Payoff pitch one more time. Swing and a little blooper to center. Here comes Granderson. One down. Up next for An early look at the line Mike score Fielder. here tonight as we play Michael the top of the fifth. Sunder. And boy, just one lone hit for the visitors this evening as they've been taken to task by this starter. Here's Michael Saunders now. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And this is fouled back and out of play. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And he struck him out. And that's eight strikeouts thus far. Well, you can tell by their approach that they're going to go up there and try to be aggressive off it? this guy. But Left he's fielder. taking full advantage of that. He's Kendrick. pounding the zone with strikes. And right now, we're seeing a lot of swings and misses and a lot of strikeouts and no walks either. Stepping in now, Howie Kendrick. Chopped foul over towards the dugout. Kendrick waiting, now the pitch. Little chopper back to the mound. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Phillies down in order. They still find themselves down six zip. Here's Joanna Cespedes. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. Set to deal on two and two. Never Wait, tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Action in the bullpen now as a right hander begins to throw out there. Hot shot to third and handled for the first out. Now batting center fielder. Digging in center. once again. Curtis Granderson comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Well, when you're behind an account like this pitcher is, it's a good time to work in something off speed if you're confident in it. Most hitters are looking for fastball. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. The pitch. He pulls this one into right. And Granderson will be aboard with a base hit. So he'll hold on at first following the single to right. Maybe two hits for him here this evening. And that'll bring us to our Mets leaderboard. And as you can see, he's currently second on the ball club in that department. Here's Neil Walker. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. And a slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. Well, Matt, the rain is really starting to come down. And the best way to look at it, look at the lights out there, how the rain is just streaming through the light towers. It's coming down hard. Pulled toward right center field. Chasing after it is Herrera, and he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Herrera will range to his left and put it away. Two down. Digging in and looking for more, Michael Conforto. He's off to a fast start in this one. Two for two, including a home run. And that one right down Main Street. Can't say he's tickling around the zone. Those last two pitches were pretty much grooved right down the middle, but it didn't bite him. Runners on the move for second. Pitch inside the throw. Short hop, but he's out. Great play to pick the throw and slap the tag on him to end the inning. One hit in the inning, but no one left. Five innings complete. The Mets lead this one six to nothing. 
Digging in for his second at bat, Andres Blanco will start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they faced other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Swing and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. Neither guy giving in here and they'll do it again. Another payoff pitch. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. One thing you try to do as a hitter is figure out what pattern the pitcher is pitching. I can't cover the whole plate. He's done a masterful job of pounding them on the outside half for strikes, and they haven't figured it out yet. And that at bat now, will put a smile on Catherine. any manager's face. Cameron. The pitch total of the opposing right. pitcher just keeps going higher and higher, and he still couldn't put him away. So this inning is off to a good start for the guys carrying the sticks. And he rings up another one, make it nine strikeouts for him in the game. Really impressive pitching right there. Sometimes as a pitcher, you can get frustrated when you make a good pitch and you don't get that call from the umpire. But what does he do? He comes back with a good pitch and gets the strike. Into the box now, Michael Marriott. Now a bunt attempt here. Flip to the second baseman covering now for the out. Digging in once again, Second Cesar baseman. Hernandez. Cesar a hit in two Hernandez. tries so far. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Tries to go the other way as this is in the air to left field. Will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. One left for Philadelphia. They won't make a dent in a six to nothing deficit. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Michael Conforto. He's off to a fast start in this one. Two for two, including a home run. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. On 0 and 2, you'll sometimes get a guy to chase a fastball out of the zone away or up, but when it's way down like that, it's much easier to lay off because you can tell the ball is moving further away from eye level as it comes in. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. He went deep earlier, so that might have been a little bit of a message they were trying to send to get him off the plate. At the very least, they're clearly trying to get him from getting his arms extended again. His timing looks good right there, Matt. That's falling up after a fastball. He still was able to get a piece of that breaking ball. Bottom dropped out on him, and that's a strikeout. He's and out. the throw is there to record the first out. The first well, you know you made 21. a real nice pitch when you bounce Listen. it in the dirt, and you still get the hitter to swing at it. That tells me that there's a lot of deception in that pitch right now. Into the box, Lucas Duda. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. The two and one on its way. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Bases are empty, one man out. This is drilled, but right into the shift. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. Throw in time at first for route number two. Now batting. Patrick. Digging in and looking for more. Oh, Travis no. Darno. He's one for two in the ball game. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. And the changeup is way low that time. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2-1. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Herrera's there. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Mets go down one, two, three. 
but they're on top by a count of six to nothing. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. Getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top. But first, let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. Ready for another chance? Michael Franco. He struck out twice thus far, so we'll see if he can fare any better here. Q shot here out towards short. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three game so far. So the leadoff man is aboard to start out the inning. Now batting. Center Here's fielder. the center fielder Odubel Herrera. Herrera. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. He's set. Here's the 2 2. And this is heading out toward left field, but this is going to get fouled up into the crowd. The 2 2 one more time. This is pulled into right, but he will come on strong out there in right and pull this one down for the first down. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. First baseman number ready for another shot now. Tommy, Tommy Joseph. Joseph. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. There's a change up over the outside corner. Look, Matt, this guy's got a great sinker. Here's the key. He's got a runner on first base. This is where you get that ground ball double play. Make him chase that hard sinker and hit him to the dirt and turn one over for you. So he sets him down swinging. Now Tommy batting. Joseph goes right down fielder. for out number two Michael in the top Sander. half. Standing in now, Michael Saunders. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Boy, he's been great in this one. He's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. A runner on first with two away. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. It's time for Philly the strand one. They still find themselves down six zip. Striding into the box, Noah Syndergaard. He's been great on the mound, so we'll see if he can do something with the bat here as well. He's earned a chance to take this at bat. Yeah, Matt, when a guy's throwing the ball as well as he has, it kind of forces the manager's hand to stay with him. He's been exciting to watch, and he's really had this crowd behind him the entire game. Grounded back up the middle. He gets dirty, but he can't get there, and it's into center field. He is having a terrific game, pitching well enough to get back to the plate Third again. And this seven. time he delivers with a base okay. hit. Hey, Ray. Right hander starts to loosen out from the bullpen now. In now, Jose Reyes. He swings and sends it on a line to right center. And this is into the gap for Reyes. He's got extra bases. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. Well, he was definitely struggling coming into this one. But I think we could say that cold streak is officially over. That's his second hit of the game. And it goes for extra bases. We'll see now if this game proves to be a huge turning point for him. Stepping in now as Dribble Cabrera. Curveball, but he can't get him to chase it one and two. Get a hit. Come on. Ready with the one and two. High in the air out to center field. Herrera's there. Makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. Now it's cut off. A throw to the plate. And he will score on the sacrifice fly. Hey, every pitcher likes to have some run scored for him, particularly when you're throwing as well as he is tonight, and he gets another insurance run on top of it. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. Hard hit ball to second. To his right, Hernandez. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. And here with the infield back, they were giving him the run on a ground ball, so he just takes advantage of that and drives the run home. Good approach. 
Here's the center fielder Curtis Granderson. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. Uh, trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. Neil Walker would be next. Chopped weakly up the first base line, but that one rolls foul. Two out, nobody on. Drill down the line, and he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. That was some great situational hitting there after surveying the field second to see baseman. what the defense was giving him. The third Walker. baseman was well off the line, and he had no chance to make a play as he sprays it down the left field line for a two-bagger. Into the box, Neil Walker, a little bouncer. Two out here and a runner at second. Swing and a line drive, but foul. Oh, he's clearly hitting off the fastball right there. You don't hit one that hard if you're not looking for it. Come on, Walker. Another one sent foul. He'll try it again, three and two. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Eighth inning coming up. Mets out in front, eight to nothing. Here's Howie Kendrick. He leads off their half of the eighth, and they've been unable to get that starter out of the game to this point. Yeah, he settled in early on the mound, partly due to the lead his guys gave him to take some of the pressure off. He's taken that and pitched very effectively in this one. And he'll look at a fastball here that's close, but it's two and one now. Kendrick waiting now the pitch now a swing and the barrel of the bat breaks in two that time throw on to first in time so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight the batter number four shortstop ready once Andres again Blanco. Andres Blanco he's 0 for 1 thus far into his motion here comes the three and one lifted out towards straightaway center field Granderson on the move and he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. For Philadelphia, Patrick Cameron. Digging Rupp. in to try it again, Cameron Rupp. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. And gone up into the second deck. So a solo shot here to left center field eighth home run on the season for him and they're now on the board though still well behind. Well some people would say this homer is wasted because they're down so big tonight but I'm not one of them. I think anything you can build on and take into the next game is valuable and at least they're still battling. Chris Coughlin will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number six, Chris Coughlin. That's lifted the other way out to left. Cespedes is there. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Maybe too little too late, but they're on the board here in the late going. On now to the bottom of inning number eight. It's the Mets eight and the Phillies one. Hector Neris enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit number right 15, where it is. Hector Neris. 
Riding in once again, Michael Conforto. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. Ready on three and one, here's the pitch. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Well, it's clearly on that fastball. He hit that one hard. He just could not keep it fair. He set and the payoff pitch. He pulls this one into right. Now a dive in right, but he can't haul it in. And now this is going to be big trouble out there. Around second now, and they still haven't flagged this one down. And he will make it all the way to third now as that mistake proves a costly one indeed. Man, he's wishing right now this game could go on forever or at least until he can get up again because otherwise that is probably his last at bat of the game, leaving him one leg shy of hitting for the cycle. Regardless, he's had an incredible game. Standing in now. Lucas Duda, one and two now as this catches the outer half. Ready to deliver the one and two. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Saunders going back. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. A two run blast to straight away right field number 10 for him on the year as they push this lead up to nine now. I know I get big money for my expert analysis but this is pretty simple. If you put a fastball up in the zone over the heart of the plate this guy's going to turn it around in a heartbeat this one was no shocker into the box now Travis Garneau in there one and two now the one and two pitch look out that one almost got away from him two and two now wow fastball up and in I'm not sure it was intended to be that far up and that far in. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Just missed a home run to the deepest part of the yard. It's off the wall. And they'll keep it going here as he's in with a double. Well, when you serve up pitches like that, Matty, you know these hitters okay. are going to put some good swings on. And that's what happens here as he blasts this thing. The last two hitters have really set the stage. Man, I thought for sure we were going to see back-to-back -back jacks right there. Yeah, so now we'll see if the next guy can keep this train rolling. Juan Ligares will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Juan. No one out with a runner at second. And there's ball two now. Matt, I just think he's pitching scared. Look, he's getting hit a little bit, and now he's falling behind another hitter. Challenge somebody. See you, Matt. Two and two. He's set. Here's the 2 2. And this one's in the dirt. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. Swung on in the dirt. Strike three. The throw to first is in time. One down. And now this ball's going to wind up out of play. And that will compound matters even further. Well, if anybody was wondering why they're losing, there's the reason. When you're given a chance to make a big play, you've got to make it. Or you're going to be on the wrong in the games more often than not. In now, Jose Reyes. And he takes a cold strike two. Three runs already home here. And this is going to be a foul ball. Here he comes again. One two lifted into center field. Pereira is there now and he has it two gone. 
the shortstop, number 13. At as the plate, Drubal. as Drupal Cabrera, over three with an RBI in this one. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now. Three and two. Boy, good inside fastball right there. Trying to tie the hitter up, trying to keep him from getting those arms extended. A pitcher's pitch. Oh, that's one he's going to want back right there. A fastball right in your wheelhouse, and you foul it off. And another foul ball. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. And a good battle continues as this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and the count remains three and two. He's just fouling him off till he gets something he wants to hit. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a walk. The left fielder number 52. Ready now, Joanna you know, Cespedes. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Two out with the man at first. Line drive to left, and that'll get down for a base hit. You knew with three balls on the batter and a runner on first base, he was going to okay, challenge him with the, the fastball, and the hitter and didn't miss it. Got the base hit, and now they're first and second. Into the box, Curtis Granderson. Fastball called strike, one and two. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Two down, runners at first and second. Here's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. Well, I think he's trying to get that two-strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much of the plate right there. Fortunately, he fouled him off instead of putting it in the seats. That's in there. Base hit. And they'll put the brakes on that runner at third, and that means the bases are loaded now with two away. Well, how about that Captain for a four-hit game? He Eagle. homered earlier. Walker. Now he picks up his fourth hit of the game. Wow, he's having a tremendous game. Stepping in now, Neil Walker. Yep, a little bit off the outside. It's one and two. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And now a slider in on the hands, and he's lucky that one didn't come and get him. Well, giving up hits is one thing, but judging by that last pitch, he doesn't have any consistency with his release point right now. He doesn't know where it's going, and he knows it. And he'll go the short way to retire the side. So all in all, they're fortunate to give up just three in the inning as they wind up escaping the bases loaded jam. We've played eight full. It's the Mets 11 and the Phillies one. Rafael Montero enters from the pen to begin the frame with a sizable lead with which to work. Digging in the switch hitter, Cesar Hernandez. Starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. Now at the plate, Michael Franco. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. He goes the other way as this is hit in the air toward the gap in right center. Conforto is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. Now batting center fielder. Here's the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. 
And now those that have stuck it out tonight come to their feet. Shot toward right center. And that'll make him one for four in this one. And that'll keep the inning alive for Tommy Joseph. Well, that's why you grind out every at bat. You don't want the game to end on your watch. He gets the base hit, extends it, and we'll see what happens the rest of the way out. Standing in now, Tommy Joseph takes this the other way to right. In there, a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. So he waited till the ninth inning, but he Mike comes Hilder. through here to extend Michael the hit streak. Sanders. That was close. Well, you can tell he's got ice water in his veins. No pressure. He gets up there in the ninth with this streak going and delivers. In now, Michael Saunders. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Good job there to slam the door for the win, and they finished the month with the bang just the way you want to. 11 to 1 at the end of this one. The New York Mets get the win after banging out 16 total hits. Noah Syndergaard pitches his way to a league leading 12th win of the year as he turns in eight strong innings of work. Vince Velasquez permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. So that'll just about do it. For Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious New York Mets. 11 runs, 16 hits. No error. Beltre homered his last time up there. Hammered a pitch right down the right field line that got out of here by 20 feet. He is three for four this evening.